Hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you guys about the force acting on the propeller. There's a various force acting on the propeller. First of all, the centrifugal force. The second one, thrust bending force. The third, torque bending force. Four, aerodynamic twisting moment. The fifth one, centrifugal twisting moment. Six, torque reaction. The last but not least, vibration and resonance. Centrifugal force. Centri centrifugal force causes by a spinning propeller which tends to pull the blade out of the hub. Thrust bending force. As the aerofoil section of the propeller blade gains leaf torque, especially near the blade tip, it tries to move forward, bending the thinner blade section. Torque bending force. Torque bending force try to bend the propeller blade back to the direction opposite the direction of rotation. This is the propeller rotations. This is torque bending force. This is the center of pressure for aerodynamic twisting moment. And this is the axis of blade rotations. And this shows the aerodynamic twisting force. Aerodynamic twisting moment tries to twist a blade to a higher angle. Centrifugal twisting moment. This shows the axis of blade rotation. One, it differs from aerodynamic twisting moment. Centri tr centrifugal twisting moment tries to decrease the blade angle. Torque reaction. Torque reaction involves Newton's third law of physics, which means for every action, there are equal and opposite reaction. As applied to the airplane, this means that as the internal engine's parts and propeller are revolving in one direction, an equal force is trying to rotate the airplane in opposite direction. This is the normal action of the airplane and this is the reaction of the airplane. This makes make a rolling effect on the airplane.